What's up, guys? Carolina Jackpot coming at you. It's Sunday, January 12th, 2020. And um, the day before the national championship game tomorrow uh, is the culmination of the 2019 college football season. We'll crown a national champion tomorrow night uh, in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome down in old New Orleans. Uh, game kicks off, uh, what, a little after 8 o'clock? I think that's different than in years past. I think it's been starting a little after 9. So uh, kudos to you for that, for those of us who have to work on uh, Tuesday. Uh, we actually won't fall asleep before the end of the game. Uh, Clemson Tigers, 14-0. Team from my state here, the state of South Carolina. Actually, not far from me. Uh, taking on the LSU Tigers, also 14 and 0 champions of the SEC. Of course, Clemson in the first round, knocking off Ohio State, uh, a very tough opponent. By a score 29-23, LSU, uh, no trouble with the Oklahoma Sooners. They beat them. What was it, 62 to 27, something like that. It was. I don't know. I stopped keeping score. Uh, at any rate, um, you know, I, I, talking about uh, who Carolina Jackpot is going to side with in this game, and I've, I've been I've been toying about it. You know, been talking um, a lot, thinking a lot about my home state and, and the people of South Carolina, and uh, and and what's the right thing to do. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. Getting to uh, the game, the task at hand, shall we? Um, Right now, uh, LSU is a six-point favorite uh, in Vegas. Uh, and the money right now is coming in hot and heavy on the Bayou Bengals. I mean, really hot and heavy. Eight to one on LSU uh, was what I read. Um, and the people in Las Vegas are saying that this is the most lopsided uh, betting that they've seen uh, on a uh, sporting event that you could bet on since the Conor McGregor Floyd May Money Money Money, 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 Floyd Money, Money Mayweather fight back in 2017, if you remember that one. So that's been a long time ago uh, in you know, regards to you know, how many bets you can uh, place and you know how many events you can bet on between now and then. And this is, is the most lopsided. Um, that's got to concern you if you're an LSU fan. I mean, it, it really does, uh, just in my mind. Talking about the Tigers, um, they're five and two in playoff games. Uh, they've been in every college football playoff since 2015. Of course, they're two and two versus the SEC in uh, the college football playoff games, and all those games were played against uh, the uh, Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, their last loss was in the 2017 playoffs in the semifinals versus Alabama. Their last regular season loss was in October of 2017 versus Syracuse. So it's been a long time since Clemson's uh, tasted an L on the football field. 23 points uh, against Ohio State in the semifinals was the most points they've allowed all year. Um, their quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, uh, this year 36 TDs, 8 interceptions. Um, wasn't looking great at the beginning of the year. I know a lot of people were, uh, were on his case. Clemson has not thrown an interception uh, since the second to last game of the regular season against Wake Forest. And that was thrown by backup quarterback Chase Bryce. Um, Lawrence has not thrown an interception, I believe, since the North Carolina game, maybe possibly the Louisville game the week after that. So it has been a, uh, a long time since he's uh, thrown the ball to a different colored jersey. You gotta like that if you're a Clemson fan. Uh, Travis Etienne, 1,536 yards so far, um, 18 touchdowns. Uh, Lawrence is actually the third leading rusher on the team right now, at 514 yards. Uh, you saw him; he took one on what, a 67-yard touchdown run, I believe it was, uh, against Ohio State, and he took like four steps to do it. I mean, the dude is so tall. It's really unreal and remarkable that he can do that. T. Higgins, uh, 1,115 yards receiving, 13 touchdowns. Um, Justin Ross, 789 yards receiving and eight touchdowns. I think Ross you know, maybe hasn't uh, quite lived up to his potential this year. They just haven't gotten him the ball uh, as many times. Not really sure why. Uh, it seems like he's got a drop in production from last year. 
The rest of their touchdowns uh, through the air are split between six different receivers, including uh, ETN himself. Um, their field goal kicker, BT Potter, he's 12 of 20. So far this year, 77 and 77. So he's perfect on his extra points. Their punter, Will Spires, 44 attempts, a 42.8 uh, yard average. Um, let it be known, he has dropped one. <sighs> That's a pretty good average, I mean, when you're not punting. And when we talked about this uh, here a while back, uh, Clemson's punter is ranked like number 100 and something as far as punting attempts um, this year. Uh, when I was talking about South Carolina's punter, Joseph Charleston, Joseph had punted like the ninth most in the country, which, I mean, is it goes hand in hand with your uh, offense being a shit show. If your offense is a shit show, uh, your punter's going to have a lot of opportunities. If you've got a lights-out offense, your punter's not going to be on the field that much. We'll see that when we're talking about LSUs uh, as well. Uh, return, <laughs> returning the ball on uh, punts, Mamari Rogers' average, and about 10 yards per punt return. <laughs> and Joseph Nagata, the freshman, is averaging 25 yards uh, on his uh, – Kickoff returns, uh, their defense, of course, that defense is uh, ranked number two in the country. Currently, um, you know, everybody thought, God, there's going to be a huge drop-off uh, in production from 2018 to 2019. You're starting a bunch of unknowns, blah, blah, blah. I knew it wasn't. I knew that Brent Venables, I knew that they recruited well uh, on defense, and I knew that they also, uh, I mean, they've got be the best defensive coordinator in the country. I mean, you can't deny that fact. <coughs> um, Anthony, or Anthony, I called him, Isaiah Simmons uh, is just a headhunter on that side of the ball from the linebacker position. He plays in the backfield. I mean, he's all over the place. Uh, the guy's incredible. Safety position uh, with Tanner Muse and uh, Nolan Turner, I believe his name is. Uh, they're decent players, but uh, this is this is a point at, at which I believe is going to be a bit of a weakness for them. Their defensive line is in good shape. Xavier Thomas up there had a lot of quarterback pressures this year, a lot of tackles for loss. Uh, he's a really good player, um, you know, despite the fact that he didn't come to my South Carolina Gamecocks like he uh, one time said he was going to. Um, yeah, I, my, my dislike for him has slowly, slowly dissipated. This video is brought to you by Miller Lite and um, a love for college football. I mean, I think we're all just here uh, at this point of the year. I mean, most of our teams, I mean, unless you're a Clemson or an LSU fan, our teams aren't playing anymore. We're just here and watching it for our love, our passion, and uh, the excitement of the game. And uh, I believe this one tomorrow night is going to deliver just that. Ah, boy, that's good. Yeah, I like it when I'll get people on here talking about some. Yeah, you need to drink a real beer. You need you need you need to drink something else. That beer you drinking it's shit. You know what? Shut up. I mean, you're probably at home sitting on a case of Bush Light right now. You really are. I mean, I mean, what are you drinking? I mean, some beer that's you know like ten dollars a can. Shut up. I can't stand that. Most everybody is either drinking Miller Lite or Bud Light, or if you're in freaking college um, and you're part of the woke crowd, I think a lot of them are doing Paps Blue Ribbon right now. But at any rate, um, it is what it is. I want to show you this one, too. Uh, I picked this up a couple of weeks ago at Food Lion in Belmont, North Carolina, of all places. It was $11 for a four-pack, but I just had to get it. And um, I'll sample this here. This is App State Yosef Golden Ale. Okay, this is canned by the Appalachian Mountain Brewery in Boone, North Carolina. And it says down here on the rim of the bottom of the rim of the can, philanthropy, community, sustainability, all great things, right? Uh, they have their own brewery there, uh, and it says that this is in collaboration with Appalachian State University Department of Chemistry and Fermentation Sciences. What about that? They offer courses in beer brewing. They're all right in my book, and I'll tell you this, if you can't beat them, you might as well drink their beer. Although most college football teams like uh, Tennessee, Florida, uh, UNC, Texas A&M, however many there are that beat us this year. There's too many to list. They don't have their own beer, though. App State has their own beer. We're going to put the Miller Lite to the side. 
It's really good too. Tastes like grapefruits. I like it. You know, there ain't no grapefruits in Boone, North Carolina, except for in that beer can right there. Anyway, uh, LSU in their first playoff ever. Um, of course, uh, they dismantled Oklahoma last week. They dismantled everyone they've played uh, this year for the most part. They have allowed uh, a decent amount of points, though, and uh, their defense is nowhere near the level of Clemson's. That could be a concern. Joe Burrow has thrown 55 touchdowns and six interceptions this year. Uh, he won the Heisman Trophy, 5,208 yards. Okay, his passer rating from 2018 to 2019, last year it was a 133.2. This year it is a 204.6. Um, he threw 16 touchdowns last year. Guess what? He threw five interceptions. So he's thrown one more interception this year and roughly 40 more touchdown passes. Who does that? Who does that? Nobody. Nobody does that except Joe Burrow. And, you know, a lot of people out there credit this to Joe Brady, the guy who was a lower-level assistant on the New Orleans Saints coming over and helping, you know, Ed O and the the uh, actual offensive coordinator there at uh, LSU with the, with the real offensive coordinator. His name escapes me. Um, I can't think of his name. Uh, his, um, what was it, his daughter. His daughter got killed. Uh, yeah the day before the Oklahoma game or either that morning or something. It was it was rough. I was up there in the press box um, coaching. I had to feel sorry for him. I can't remember his name. He's an older fella. Y'all know what it is. Anyway, uh, you know, and you got to wonder, is this Joe Brady? Does he have that much of an influence on this kid? Or is it just them getting something inside of Joe Burrow to come out? I think it's they got something inside of Joe Burrow to come out. You know, I think anybody could, uh, not anybody, but any decent offensive mind could, you know, figure up a scheme, draw up plays where they spread the field out with these receivers and start throwing the ball around and moving it downfield vertically more than what they were doing in the past. I don't think that uh, that Joe Brady, you know, is going to should get all the credit for developing a, a national uh, championship caliber team. You know, this comes from inside the players. Joe Burrow was talented, but just it was just waiting to come out. And um, I can't remember when I've ever seen anybody explode from one year to the next uh, as much as what he has. Uh, talking about the running game, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, he was injured, and uh, they say he's going to be back. They said he's like 80, 85 percent, something like that, for uh, this game tomorrow night. He's got 1,304 yards this year and 16 uh, touchdowns on the ground. If he doesn't play, they don't have much uh, in the run game otherwise. Uh, Burrow has, has ran for uh, a, you know, a decent amount of yards for a quarterback, but uh, nowhere near as much as Trevor Lawrence. And um, also, uh, was this John Emery Jr., a uh, young kid who was supposed to be really good. I mean, he's he's been okay uh, this year, but this hasn't gotten you know, a whole lot of touches with the ball. Their receivers, their receivers are flat filthy. Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson, both these dudes have 18 touchdown catches. Uh, Jefferson's got a lot more yards than Jamar Chase does. And then you have Terrence Marshall Jr. in there, who's chiming in with 12. Um, their offensive line, led by Lloyd Cushenberry, uh, they're pretty decent as well. Uh, so you got to figure out, you know, where, if you're Brent Venables, what are you going to do to stop this? You know, what are you going to do to stop this? Well, he can't play man-to-man -man defense against this team. He cannot play man-to-man -man defense against this team because he ain't going to be able to cover just Justin Jefferson or Jamar Chase with uh, Nolan Turner or uh, Tanner Muse. I mean, it's just not happening. If he does, they're going to lose the ball game. It's going to be a long day. Both those guys are good players, but they're not good cover safeties, and, and that's just it. That's just, just the way that goes. Um, you say, well, we're going to get some pressure on oh, Jose Burrow. We're going to pressure him. Guess what? He's completed 80% of his passes under pressure. 80% of his passes under pressure he's completed. <laughs> so what do you do? I mean, how how do you stop that? Um, you, you're going to throw up a mix of different fronts, you know, a, a mix of coverages. I think Brent Venables will get it right. I think he will get uh, he'll get it right. Um, 
he'll he'll slow them down. He will he will slow them down. Um, if he's not going to stop LSU's offense, it's just not going to happen. Uh, you're not going to hold them to 17 points. No, just you can just you're pissing up a rope if you think that that's going to happen. But I do believe that um, he can slow this team down. They've got a good defense. It's just about getting the right people in position and making plays, which is what they've done all year. They've made plays. Um, LSU's defense, uh, they're ranked like number 30th in the country right now. Everybody bemoans and bitches about them. I mean, being ranked number 30th in the country is not bad. I mean, considering some of the offensive they played, Derek Stingley Jr., Clemson really doesn't need to try to throw it inside of the field a lot. He's got six interceptions. And Grant Delpit, who was one that was on everybody's preseason All-America list, I think he's fell a little bit short of expectations this year. But he's still a heat-seeking missile from that safety position. He's got two interceptions this year. Um, Michael Divinity Jr. will be back uh, at linebacker. He's been suspended for, like, the last five, six games. Uh, failed a couple drug tests. Um but he'll be back. I don't believe he's going to be starting the game, but he will play uh, some kind of role there. Uh, so look for him to make an impact. As far as their special teams go, Cade York uh, has hit 29 of 34 field goals this year. Yeah, 29 of 34. And get this, he's 4 of 5 from 50-plus. He's 4 of 5 from over 50 yards. He's better from 50 yards plus than he is from 40 to 49 yards. So, you know, if, if LSU gets the ball, you know, anywhere inside the 35-yard line, they're scoring. I mean, they're, they're scoring. Whether it's going to be three or seven, it needs to be seven. It needs to be seven if they're going to win this game. It don't need to be three if they plan on winning. We saw what happened when Ohio State uh, planned on it being three all the time, and, and they got burnt there. Um, that's, your, that's your questions here. That's the questions I got. Uh, can Brent Venable's defense, can they um, solve Joe Burrow? Can he solve him or slow him down? Um, how much of an impact is uh, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire going to have? We'll find out tomorrow night. LSU is a six-point favorite in this game. It's in New Orleans. Uh, Dabo Sweeney was uh, on one of the magazines or radio shows somewhere or another talking about, you know, this is almost like uh, a home game for LSU. They might as well have played it in Baton Rouge. Well, this venue was decided like four years ago. So this is just a coincidence. But, I mean, all the people that are saying that Dabo is crying about that, they need to just stop. Because he's not crying, okay? He's not crying. I mean, the man's just making a point. And he's just making a point, and the words just get twisted. People, they like to twist words around to make some kind of story out of everything. People like to make something out of nothing. That's what I'm trying to get out here. Dabo meant nothing by that. He's just referencing a point of the game. Now, now it comes down to uh, the nitty-gritty. What's Carolina Jackpot think? What do I think and who am I going for? That's what you really came for. If you can't beat them, sometimes you got to support them, right? getting cold out here. I need something to cover my head up with. The team that I'm supporting Monday night. What I'm doing. And I'm picking to cover the spread in this ball game. It's not the damn Clemson Tigers, baby. It's not. Did you think, did you think for one minute, did y'all think for one minute that you Clemson fans that have sat here all year long and told me, you know, you're compassionate for your team. You need to kick them cooters to the side. You need to get blah, 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 blah. Did you think for one minute that you had any kind of influence on Carolina Jackpot? Well, ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
You did not. You did not. This is the team that I'm supporting Monday night, my South Carolina Gamecocks. I'm supporting them, and I'm doing what every, and I mean every, good Gamecock fan, what you best be doing tomorrow night. And I'm supporting LSU. I'm picking them to cover the spread in this game. I don't think they're going to cover it by much. I think they'll win by a touchdown. I think that's what's going to happen. I got them 45-38 in this thing. 45-38, they're going to give up some points, but they're going to score just a few more. And I will never, and I'm telling you what, I'm telling you, Taylor, something. I will never, ever, 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 ever support you in anything. I'm not. I will not. I don't care if your badminton team is taking on the Taliban in an intramural game. I'm putting rag on my head and shouting for the la 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 lee. That's how much I cannot stand you people. Can't stand you. Can't stand you. I said today I was going out on an adventure. I was going out on an adventure. I was going to get an LSU hat. I was going to get one to wear. But I, I, I should have thought about this before uh, this weekend. I just, things just come into my head all of a sudden. I, you know, I'm working all week long and everything. I was like, I didn't know that it would be this damn difficult to find an LSU hat in the upstate of South Carolina. I've literally went to 12 different places today just looking for something, anything. A little rag, something. You know, I was even going to print something off on my computer. But I said, the heck with that, I don't want to do that. I should have ordered something off Amazon as soon as I knew who the game was going to be against. But I didn't do it. So don't sue me on that one. And I also want to say this to uh, my LSU friends out there who have uh, watched the Carolina Jackpot videos. Um, the video I made the other day about the state of Louisiana I'm sorry, okay? From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry that I made fun of your state. I didn't mean to do it. It was all part of the plan. It was all part of the master plan. It was just part of the ruse, guys. I, you know, I just had to set it up, and I had to do something to get some good effect on it. So I do apologize. Your state's full of really good people. Yes, your education system is bad, but you know what? In South Carolina, our education system is bad here. Your roads are probably bad. Ours are probably bad, too. Guess what? We're probably basically about the same state. The only reason that South Carolina's economy is a little bit better is because we got a couple of really big companies that have moved up here. And, you know, it is what it is. Also, uh, I told uh, an LSU person who commented on something on a video about all the stuff that LSU did for us in 2015 when the hurricane, I think it was Hurricane Matthew, came through and the Columbia was half underwater uh, for several days. And then the LSU South Carolina game came about that. October and quite honestly they could have played that game in Columbia they could have played that game in Columbia most of the water was all out of Columbia by that time but for whatever reason uh, they chose not to it was a game that at the last minute they decided that was also Steve Spurrier's last game before he quit um, we lost 45-21 I think uh, Rashad Fenton I remember Rashad Fenton was a freshman we never heard of he returned kickoff for a touchdown that game they played our fight song coming out they let us wear the home uniforms they treated us as the home team and i do appreciate it and i'm sorry i have not forgotten that and none of us have forgotten that we really do thank you for doing that it's not that video the other day was nothing personal nothing against you i just had to set it up i wanted to make a video last night bitching about north carolina stupid what is wrong with north carolina's basketball team that they could let Clemson, sorry, basketball, Clemson's, South Carolina's basketball team sucks this year. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. They suck. They lost yesterday to the ten, ball and queers by one point uh, in Tennessee. Clemson's basketball team is terrible. But North Carolina, you, <laughs> you had a 59-game winning streak against these losers in your building and you let them come into your gym, you're beating them by 10 points with two minutes left to go, and you let them come back, take it overtime, and beat you. Congratulations, Clemson, on beating the worst UNC team probably in history, okay? Roy Williams, 
who uh, made the comment the other day that's the worst team I've coached, uh, you know, the least talented team we've had at UNC since I've been here. Well, you know what, dude, that may be true, but you weren't saying that before the season started, were you? No, you only said it when you started losing. You only said it when you started losing. South Carolina would have whipped that team last night by 20 points. And yeah, North Carolina, though, you're terrible. I wanted, my, I wanted so bad to make a video last night railing on them for losing that damn game, but I couldn't because I knew this was coming today, and it was all part of the plan. Clemson, you suck. I can't stand you. You're going to get your ass whooped tomorrow night by at least seven points. If it's not, it's going to be more. It will be more, and it will be go Tigers all the way. All the way. They're not losing in New Orleans. They're not losing in front of that crowd. They're not losing to you, period. Joe Burrow, is. I had never seen nothing like it. The kid is a man on a mission this year, and – um they're taking home that national championship tomorrow night. Write it down. Y'all be coming home disappointed. And it'll be talking about, well, at least we made it there. Boy, you cougars have ever done. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the hate is real, and it's not going away. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow night. I may go live during the game. I thought about live streaming it. I, it. There's just no way I can live stream the whole entire thing. Tomorrow night, I've got other things to do. i got some work to do around here uh, for work uh, in the house before I can you know, really get into watching that. I'm not going to be able to live stream it all. I would love to. But with it being during the week, I can't. But I will go live at some point during that thing tomorrow night. And um, you'll see a happy Carolina jackpot because I'm telling you right now, they're going to win that ball game. I can feel it in my bones. And when I feel something in my bones, uh, nine times out of ten, it's right. I'll see y'all later. Appreciate it. Go Gamecocks. Screw Clemson. And go LSU. Woo! Coach, I don't want to know that. They coming for you, baby. Oh, yeah.